I like it. <laughs> you know, um, obviously our defense has to get a lot better. And we, we did a lot of stuff that was a little different, a lot of switching man that we're not comfortable with. But it's something that is easily correctable. Um, you know, we didn't play any zone tonight because we have a greater shooting team than we were. But you know, I was proud of the guys' effort, especially to start the second half. Well, that's what I was telling him. 13 2 to begin the half, and they didn't get a shot for three minutes. You just completely. Is that the defense that you would want for 40 minutes? Yeah. We, we got up in the first half, I don't know what it was, 16 maybe, yeah. and we got complacent. And I, these guys got to understand once you're up, you step on their neck. You don't let them breathe. And we got a little complacent, and that's what happens. It's human nature. They went on a run. I think we closed the half on a 6 0 run to get a 10 point lead. But I told them at halftime if I didn't see five guys dying to get stops, they're all coming out, and they came out. They answered the bell, and um, you know, again, we don't have to run plays if we can get a lot of offense from our defense. We're a dangerous team. I think Javante and Jarrell played 20 minutes yeah. apiece and combined for 40 points. So I, I think you can see the weapons we have at the wing. Well, Jamil came in there at the end of the half. He single-handedly put a spot to that run. I mean, he, just, he came out of that timeout and just took control. Yeah, they, you know, we got all interchangeable pieces. We really do between Jamil, Jarrell, Javante. You know. Too many J's, by the way. But, um, <laughs> you know, they understand that, it, you know, they're going to feed off each other. The reason I was proud of him, he had five assists in 20 minutes. You know, he led us in assists tonight, and he still got his 19 points. When he starts understanding that, he, you know, he and Jarrell should leave the team, team in assists. They really should. And he didn't take a shot there. Right? It was over three and a half minutes there late in the first half. He didn't take a shot. Yeah, then. I was wondering what was going on, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, he's as great of a kid as I've ever coached in my life. He really is. And he and I have a special connection that, um, you know, I, I go to war with him every single day, and I'm happy to do that. And I'm really, really proud of him. How does it feel to finally be out there playing instead of sitting on the bench watching? I'm feeling great, you know. I mean, like last year, I was just sitting there watching, anxious, ready to play. So came out great energy today, and it came out to win. So it felt, it felt great getting back on the court for three years. <laughs> it looks like every half you're coming out, you look more comfortable. So what are we going to see once you really get comfortable? Yeah, well, um, as, the, as the season goes on, I'm going to get very comfortable. So just the camaraderie of the team uh, continue to improve. So it's going to be a great year for us. You weren't happy with the rebound in Sunday? <laughs> Any happier today? Not much. Um, <laughs> again, 17 offensive rebounds is not going to win you too many games. Again, a lot of it is the helter skelter that we play. A lot of it is flying around guys are out of position, but I'm not going to make excuses for these guys. We can't keep giving up 17 offensive rebounds and expect to win the amount of games we want to win. So, look, it, it's a work in progress. We understand we got to tighten up our half court defense and, and tighten up our, our offensive, our defensive rebounding. Once we do that, you know, long way to go, but the sky's the limit with this team. Okay. When we had first talked, you had said Isaac had been your rock. Mm -hmm. But what I notice on the floor now, you've got so many guys that are contributing, especially uh, Javante and uh, Nick Freshman coming right onto the court. That's got to make you feel pretty good as a coach to know that you guys that are brand new to this program and are immediately contributing. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. The biggest thing looking at our roster was we didn't have much game experience. You know, even the transfers didn't have game experience. That's why. You know, Isaac had the most game experience. He, he is as steady as it gets, and he ran the show tonight. I thought he did a good job. The stat sheet does not do him justice. He's playing with a really bad back right now. He can't even practice right now. He's like Kiki Vandeweghe. We just sitting out there in practice. He comes in and plays. You guys are young enough to hold up. Remember Kiki Vandeweghe. But, um, you know, we're going to get better and better and better as these guys get game experience, and that's what it comes down to. KJ Bluford just came back from practice. He's practiced one and a half days in the past three weeks. And so that's why I extended his minutes to get him some wins. He's going to get confidence. But it's, it's with this team, you know, Jalen Bat Harris is one of the best shooters on the team, and, and he's struggling right now with the shot. But you look at it, he had four assists, and that's why I love him. So, you know, night in, night out, you know, he's going to be a different guy. And you had said for this game, you guys changed up your defense because you knew they were going to be a deadly three point shooting yeah. team. So, from, from what you see with this team, are they able to adapt really well? Because you're showing them one thing in practice, but then they have to completely change on defense. Do you yeah, I mean, no, we work on a lot of manatee uh, uh, in practice. But, you know, they, they got to understand that with all the switching that we do, that these guys got to shrink the court, get to the inside. We're giving up too many driving lanes. And, you know, the, the film is the best teacher. So we'll watch film tomorrow. We're happy that we won. But we're not getting complacent because giving up 80 points a game is not acceptable. These guys will understand that. And and on defense, you you said that you want you wanted to play a lot of in your you want to be in their face and you want to wear these guys down. 
So, and I'll have both of you guys to attest to this. Do you think that a big part of your team this year is going to be something like getting the steal and being able to get down the court on the fast break? Um, yes, like uh, he said before, I think um, our defense, like we shouldn't have to run play, we shouldn't have to run plays on offense because our defense is going to lead to uh, quick buckets on the offensive end. So, I think as we the season goes along, our defense will get more better, more tighter. Like you said, uh, controlling the paint and getting steals and heading out to the fast break. A play like your Kesey really hurt us from the three-point line. Yeah. You held one to five. Were you doing anything special to try to limit his touches? I mean, that was the X factor. We, we talk about who the X factor is, who we need to to really shut down. These guys knew that. You know, they had a lot of new faces. We didn't know much about these guys, but Kesey was the one guy we focused on. And, you know, we wanted to limit his attempts, and, and we did a pretty good job challenging his shots. I don't think anybody left disappointed. Yeah, we'll see. I think, I think they liked it. <laughs> Yeah, look, first of many, uh, I think it's an exciting brand of basketball. Uh, we, we're a deep team, we're long, we're athletic, but the biggest thing I love about this team is the camaraderie. And it really starts with Javante. You know, he's the captain of the ship, and he's got these guys all bought, bought into whether you're coming off the bench or whether you're starting, we're all part of something special. And Javante, can you talk about that a little bit? Because I see when somebody hits a three-pointer, as soon as the ball goes up, the team comes off the bench and they go, and you guys go nuts as soon as somebody hits it. Talk about that brotherhood that you guys have developed this year and how it translates into your game. It's more like a, it's more of a trust. Like we know what guys can do. Like he said, a bad person. He's a pretty good shooter. Even though he, he didn't shoot the ball pretty well today, but we we gonna stand up if he put it up. We seen what he can do in practice. Same with KJ Buford. And um, like this team is, is really a brotherhood. It's new, a lot of new faces, but from the start, we, we all came together and we all are trying to achieve one common goal. So I, th I think, um, like I said, like this this year is going to be special because a lot of people are sleeping on it, and it's going to be special because we're we're all together. Paul was a perfect example of that tonight. He didn't play a lot, but yeah. every time a shot went in, he was first one on his feet cheering. Without he wasn't hitting the sulking. And, it looks like everybody's happy for everybody else. Without a doubt.